It's trouser week, Lucy. I feel like we're on the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> we're not doing cakes this week, we're doing trousers. We're doing trousers. You've asked a lot for trousers, but looking at what's off here, this is my little tweaking of trousers. So this is a classic example of how I shouldn't wear trousers, even though they're relatively high-waisted. I'm wearing them sort of full length, but there's about five things with trousers that we're gonna to discuss today. How you make trousers work for your body shape, and I can do my body shape and talk about others. What trousers make you look old fashioned and what can you do to them to make them look modern? Right. How do you reproportion your body shape with trousers if you're too long bodied or too short bodied? And there's just styling them up. Okay. Yeah. Buying trousers is very, it's very difficult. Incredibly difficult. And I have had as much failure and as much success with both very high street and very expensive. Generally speaking, I invest more money in trousers than I do in anything else in terms of shape because there's certain designers which guarantee me a good shape. The problem with Zara nowadays is the sizing is shit. So you just gotta ignore what's on the label and find the pair that fits you. These trousers for me um, have just, they've got a reasonably nice waist because I need, as I have short legs and a long body, I can't go too low waisted. But when they're long, you think I can, but it just elongates to an extent the depth between my crutch and my waist and also shows how little length there is between my legs and my um, and my ankles and the floor. Yeah. Now what I could do is I could put on a higher heel with these. That's one way of doing it. And that would circumnavigate that sense of um, it being a little bit, you know, short legged because then I give myself some heel and it's much better. Yeah but I still feel it looks old fashioned. It's a bit too classic for me. Uh -huh. What I did is I bought a second pair of trousers oh. because I thought I might want to wear them long or short and they were 29.99. So I bought a second pair, but I've never worn these. Right. So I just have a second pair of trousers for a suit. So if I get anything on them, great. Okay. I'm gonna show you now what I did to the trousers. Right. I see what you've done. I mean, this is a very different suit and there's a lot of ladies who will say to me, Oh, your trousers look too short. But what, what it does cropping them is it gives less bulk at the bottom. It gives me an ankle. It gives a really much more interesting shape. And also it's very important when doing this to use a sock that's a similar shade, Lucy. Yeah. So I'm elongating my leg still, but with a different sense of width. And then even from the back, it just feels cool. To me, an ankle crop, Lucy, has become a classic. Yes. I can't actually believe that it's the same pair of trousers though. It yeah, looks it so different because the other trousers look so heavy and full Yeah, and they look much lighter. They are because there's nothing, you know, folding on fabric, which is folding on fabric. And the fall of the trouser is much nicer. So when a trouser breaks here, breaks its fall, it gives that width to the whole area around the calf. Yeah. And I think that changes that flow yeah. of the suit. You've cropped the trousers, but you're still wearing a heel. So would that work with a flat shoe? If you have long legs, it would. I have short legs on body, so I need that extra two and a half inches that it gives me to just have my legs feel in proportion. Okay. Otherwise it would just be, it so would look a bit funny. Long legs, flat shoe, great. Yes, but I'll show you my favorite kind of trousers to make my legs look the longest. These are my favorite trousers for elongating my leg. These are Victoria Beckham cost per wear. It's actually down now to about 10 pounds. But I want to talk about the shoe to wear underneath because a lot of people would look at Victoria Beckham and in a lot of her pictures she'll have this floppy trouser leg at the bottom with the pointy shoe. Yeah. And that doesn't suit me. I find that if you have a shoe which makes this break, I'm exaggerating, but it does that. Do you see? Because you've yeah. broken in the fold. Yeah. And if you get a trouser, a, a shoe which is round toed, like this old Longvar one, like that. Yeah. It sits right over. The art is, it should always, to me, I like it to sit over the front of the uh, shoe because then that's a really elongated leg. Yeah. Whereas this is a slightly more squat leg. So you think, oh, she's got long legs. She's but if I take these off. Yeah. See it just changes your shape so changes much. How you walk it. it changes how you walk in your shape. And you know, if you're thinking I can't wear high heels, then consider, I mean, I, I never, ever, ever 
wear a high heel that doesn't have a platform in the front ever because yeah. it's more comfortable because then I'm only actually on that's the height of my heel yeah you know and you can get really comfortable ones the importance of good underwear with white trousers there's three reasons why you might want to consider some form of support underwear with white trousers Lucy right first one is you might have a bit of a protruding tongue and a falls tongue for me could just be you ate a lot um, you might feel that the cellulite's going to show through and it makes you feel uncomfortable. So if I stood underneath the ripple of the light, I don't know if you'd see that more, but you know, you're just self-conscious about those bits around there. The third thing is that lovely top you want to wear with it shows through because the fabric's too tight. Absolute pain in the bum. Pain in the bum, so let's see the solution. There's many types of support underwear, but when you're wearing trousers, you need ones that get really thin at the bottom because otherwise you're gonna get a line so these ones, which I got from Spanx, are very good because they have a thinness about them. Oh, look at the construction of those. Yeah, very interesting construction. Of Goodness them. me. So we're going to see if they work. Okay. Whoa! Voila, as if by magic. So first of all, do you see my top? No. Great. Um, do you see a mark on the sides here? I actually don't. I Tiny actually don't. Aging, but not much. And how smooth is my ass? <laughs> <laughs> the smoothest. And how flat is my tummy? Very flat. The trick is tuck the top into the Spanx. But it is just miraculous. Yeah, that is miraculous. So I've got, still got the Spanx on, but I'm just going to talk about sequin trousers because I bought these from Zara and I love the idea. I've got my um, high Hogan's on. If I didn't have these on, you can see how low these are on me and how it just makes my leg really short because you see the expanse of fabric and how long the, the top fabric is before you see my trouser. Yeah. Also, they really show where my butt ends. Okay. So you really just see that shorter length of leg. This is why I don't wear skirts anymore because my knees are so unfit. So this is how I look without, you know, <laughs> it's to appreciate why I love trousers so much. So these are one of the sort of three pairs I own of ASOS sequin trousers and then put them on and they're much wider than those lovely Zara ones but you'll notice the proportion of my body is different yeah. you just feel I've got a waist and trousers sometimes should be giving that sense of your shape and exaggerating it so because I have a very long body it's difficult for you to, to see me feeling hourglassy yeah and I like to do that it's a very feminine shape for a woman it's just like you've taken those clothes and you've change the curves of your body and put the curves where you want people to see them. Yeah, exactly. It's very inspiring. Okay, I'm gonna do the wrong jean and the right jean for me. Okay. I remember touring Australia and wearing drain pipe jeans, even more drain pipe than this, with a jacket. Everyone was wearing skinny jeans and it felt good. You know, we were like, oh, skinny jeans, we've been wearing 501s. The more skinny skinny, the worse it is to me. If you have a short waist and long legs. A skinny jean is beautiful. You can wear knee-high boots, you can wear a flat trainer, you can wear anything with it. In fact, you can break every rule because you don't have to think about the short proportion of your legs. So, fantastic. The only thing I would say is if you're short-waisted and long-legged, generally I find more women who are short-waisted and long-legged have bigger boobs, and you don't want to be so top-heavy that your legs look so skinny and your top half looks so broad, so be really careful about breaking up the breadth here so that it's not like on a lollipop. The jacket is straight. Yeah. And so you've got no sense of my waist and you've got a sense of how short my legs are and my bottom is still hanging out underneath that. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Not my favorite look. These are longer than the jeans I'm gonna put on. But tell me if you think afterwards my legs look longer than the others. So these are the jeans I always wear and I'm wearing them now with a more fitted jacket. So they are cropped, you know, they're much shorter than the other jean, they've just been in the wash, so they're a bit tight. But the look to me is a very different look. And from the back, when I have this done up, there's something more flattering about it. You've got so some I, shape going on. I've got some shape, you know, I've got the, you can see where my waist is. Whenever I wear these jeans, so many of you say, where are these jeans from? These are citizens of humanity, Lucy, they're not cheap. But I've worn these, they're probably 50 people I wear, 25 people I wear, but I wear them twice a week, three times a week. Yeah and they cost 200 and something pounds, which is insane. But I have bought 10 pairs of Zara jeans, which never worked, mm -hmm. apart from one. The perennially flattering jean I'm gonna show you now. 
the kick flare jean to me on all the women I've dressed, and I've dressed thousands and thousands of women over 20 years, if a woman feels uncomfortable in her shape, this is the jean that will give her the best shape. Because most women, if there's things they're not so comfortable about in their bodies, it's following. They might think they've got saddlebags. So if you have saddlebags and you feel bigger on the bottom half than top half, the kick flare will balance out and make your hips look smaller. If you've got really big boobs and long legs, instead of looking like a lollipop, the kick flare works in the same way as a um, fishtail skirt. It won't make you look top heavy and you're wobbly. If you have no waist, you wear the kick flare to the waist and then you can get wasted ones and it just gives you a sense of waist. If you're petite, just buy them and then cut them to the length you want to make sure when you sew them, sew them in that color, which is a jean fabric, you know, color of um, thread because that makes them work. But we'll get someone else to do it for 15 quid at your local um, dry cleaner. If you are up to a size 16, Topshop generally do 32, 34 and 36 length flares. Yes. I got these from Alice and Olivia, which do brilliant ones, but they are at the upper end of the scale. I will do that as a look. Yeah. That to me is the universally flattering jean, much more than a skinny jean. Okay. Okay. okay I'm just going to take you through my five favorite trouser brands. Me and Am I Love. This is actually a sort of slightly cropped straight leg trouser. It's really comfortable. It's got a lot of stretch comes in many colors they do it every year i like a company that does it every year investment dressing okay so i love those another me and emma why i love it is it has braces which i think are cool um it's a crop trouser like that but you can unbutton a trousers and they have this on lots of their trousers and you can make them long for night oh wow with a high high shoe favorite trouser number three is the high-waisted Culotte from Zara, they do them each season. These ones are slightly wider, but they generally have a side fastening one as well. I love the ankle length. I've put them on women of five foot and they're fabulous flattering trousers. And I've put them on very tall women. Trouser number four is a high-waisted black trouser, um, which goes all the way to the ground, which you wear high heel over. These are from Zara, they're like the white ones, um, but with a gold button. They do this shape nearly every year, but it's really, good and it still does that thing of not showing where you my bottom ends but giving me a lovely waist and allowing me to wear a high heel underneath what you can't see. The cord. The cord and the one that I love and live in probably the most but I think what I love about the cord is because the same colour on the top and the bottom you can to an extent disguise length of leg, length of body and reproportionalize at will. So I always do my little half tuck which I think Tan France has learned from me actually and um and then I show the elongation of the leg on one side and I just have the casualness of the shirt on the other side. I like the way with these trousers that they're wide, but I think whenever I do an inverted pleat, if you have short legs and wider hips, an inverted pleat should only be in silk. If it's in a heavy fabric, you will feel the width here. When you look in the mirror, you'll feel your proportions aren't right. If you're long-legged and short-waisted, you can do that sort of pleat bit here because there's more distance for the pleats to fall. I am clenching my bottom currently, ladies. <laughs> but if you do that clench, you just feel that they, that, that they feel long. And above everything else, they're incredibly comfortable. I mean, this is my sense of pajamas. And you know, as you know, Lucy, I don't have any sweatpants. One day we will do sweatpants. No, but we won't. I've got to find some first. <laughs> So that's it really, that's my little trouser moment. And I think it's probably directed mostly at women with shorter legs and a longer body because they're the women who find it harder to find trousers that work. And women who are disproportionate, you know, and another little trick I'm going to say is the amount of times I will buy a trouser, I'll buy it a size too big here because I'm much smaller here and I'll take in the back. Much nicer than feeling the spread across your thigh where it's mm. pulling. Yeah. So that's a trick for somebody who's very narrow here and bigger here. And if you're boy-shaped trouser, then you can kind of have it sit anywhere because, you know, if it's very high waist, you might find it, it is digging in a bit there mm -hmm. and you're better slightly mid-rise. Yeah. Okay, darling. Thank you so much. It's so much information, but very, very useful. Good. Okay, we'll see you later. Yeah. Bye.